This assessment asks us to predict the product of allylic halogenation of the alkene shown. I'm going to redraw the alkene, unfortunately a seven-membered ring, so that we don't have to deal with the Weatherman effect. This question really involves two different conversations or two questions that have to be answered. First, which hydrogen is most likely to be abstracted? Uh, we're going to consider allylic, allylic, and allylic, but this one is allylic in primary, allylic in secondary, this is allylic in tertiary. So it will be the hydrogen that gets removed in the first propagation step. That's going to give us this allylic radical. Still a seven-membered ring. At this point, the allylic radical, we could draw the resonance structure which, show, which shows it going back and forth from this tertiary carbon to this tertiary carbon, not going back and forth in the context of equilibrium, but uh, resonating between the two, again, using two resonance structures to describe the allylic system. Now, it turns out, regardless of where the radical is, we're going to end up with the same product. And so we don't have to even look at what product would, res would result from the other resonance structure. Let's go ahead and draw the product of this reaction, we would end up with the bromine there. Now you'll note that in this process, we've created a new stereocenter. When that radical attacked Br2, as it did in the second step, that radical could be attacked from the front or the back, the top or the bottom. As a result, this will end up giving a racemic mixture.